I'm going to build a sliding door for our kitchen. It's going to look uh, classic, hopefully fit to this uh, house. This house is about 70-80 years old, so it's going to be very basic and I would like to have some windows. I would like that some of this light which is coming through the kitchen windows is also coming here to the hall. The size of this door it's about it's going to be about the same size than these frames. It will slide this way. Other way there's not enough room. A sliding mechanism. I don't want to buy those sets. I will make it out of wood by myself. At least I will try and hopefully I can save some money there. So that's pretty much how I want this to look. Next I will double all the pieces so I can make the second layer. Now I have the second layer done. These are not screwed yet, but I have to put this window and these uh, MDF pieces between these two layers. Next I'm going to glue all these pieces to the first layer. I'm using wood glue and uh, wooden blocks to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, I don't want to use screws. I think wooden blocks looks a little bit better.
Next I will attach to both sides these kind of support pieces. Then this uh, measurement should be about right. I'm going to paint this door white. This makes me a little bit nervous. This I painted our home about five years ago. And that's the same paint. I still have some left. <laughs> I don't know. Is it going to work? But I will try anyway, because that would be good. It's the same color. Oh. It's still moving. I think it might even work. Yep, it looks fine. So, paint shop is finally done. This paint was crazy good. It's so thick, which is good. And I really like this uh, classic look, old style look. I think I'm definitely going to put some silicone here. You can kind of see this wood, which is not painted. So I finally had a chance to try my new CNC router. This here works quite well, but these wheels, because I, I had only 3mm router bit, cap is too big. I would like it a little bit more tight, this cap. So I have to make these new. So now I made a new one. Uh, actually this is only only one millimeter more and it's it's quite perfect now I think I will leave it here
This board is going to be the main support for this door. I will screw it to the wall. I also have to think about this rail mechanism for teeth. It's going to be... It's going to look something like this. To the bottom part of this door I cut this uh, rail with my router if I need something uh, on the floor which will guide that this uh, door is not uh, swinging around like crazy. Next I have to screw this uh, wood to the wall. It's coming about like this. First I have to check that there's no electric cables or anything inside the wall. Hmm. I lift this door a little bit so it won't touch the floor. So this wood should be at least two centimeters higher than this, this door. Otherwise when this uh, railing mechanism is attached to this door I can't lift it to a place if this cap is too small. strong
Okay, on the top here I added pieces, these kind of slices of uh, thin 3mm MDF that helps those wheels roll much easier because this painted uh, surface is quite rough and this is very very smooth surface. I just add this uh, with uh, double-sided tape. At the moment this on the floor, this topper, it works very good so this door can't can't come here. It will stop. So at the moment I don't need here anything to stop this wheel. <laughs> 